<laughs> CNN commentator calls out AOC's creepy weirdos tweet. Wait, what? They are creepy fucking weirdos. What the fuck? That is how Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is describing Republicans who are attacking her for taking a New Year's trip to Florida with her boyfriend. She responded to one critic saying, quote, if Republicans are mad, they can't date me. They can just say that instead of projecting their sexual frustrations onto my boyfriend's feet, you creepy weirdos. Uh, joining us now to discuss is CNN political commentator and conservative blogger Mary Catherine Hamm. Oh my god, I fucking hate CNN so much, dude. Oh my lord, dude. Joining me now is conservative commentator. It's like, what? What, is, what the fuck? What, what the fuck kind of take is this? Like, there, you know this shit ain't gonna be good. Okay, let's hear it. You know, let's Mary hear Catherine, what she's gonna happy say. Happy New Year to you. We were happy wondering, we were thinking, how do we wish her a happy new year? And we thought, let's wake her up early and talk about feet with her. So, I'm you know, fine with it. what do you make <laughs> of all this? Well, first of all, I woke up like this. So I think you have an authority <laughs> on people being sexually frustrated by my mere existence. Glenn Greenwald said this was the best CNN segment in years. Really? No, he did not. Shut the fuck up. Are you serious? If you, it, spending more than 0 0.5 seconds on this matter, whichever way you land on the political spectrum, on a fucking platform like CNN, is automatically disqualifying, okay? If you turn around and say, this was a great segment, nay, my favorite segment on CNN, you're just a conservative. You're just a Republican. You're like the most boring Republican, okay? The best 70 seconds on CNN in years. It's only Monday. Oh, God. The funniest thing is, yo, listen, listen. The funniest thing is like the liberalization of the conservative party, okay? Or the conservative masses. Every single conservative, albeit they follow liberals and like the trends, you know, five to 10 years uh, too late, they have all become the exact same person. So much yes, says Guy Benson, who's like a fucking town hall editor, dude. Like, it's only Monday, but MK Hammer has already won this week with this savage mockery of AOC self-absorbed vanity. That's like, this is just, you're a lib. You're like a lib, but you believe in more conservative shit. You're doing the same annoying lib speak, but you're doing it from a conservative point of view, okay? Everyone is fucking yassified, dude. It's crazy. So much yes. <laughs> so much yes. Find out how Oliver North allowed, <laughs> uh, you know, brown liberation of Latinx uh, uh, militants in their self-actualization journey. <laughs> it's like, it, it, it's so stupid. I'm so sick of adulting today. Yeah, exactly. Oh my God, dude. Oh my Lord. That's awesome. Best 70 seconds of CNN in years. Oh God, it's so dumb. Glenn Greenwald, the fuck is wrong with you? It happens all the time. And I'm glad to be able to discuss this important issue with you. The plight of the super hot in America has long been ignored. <laughs> Uh, and AOC has started a national conversation about this. Uh, and, you know, I know we've all dealt with it. Uh, and by that, I mean AOC and you, Brianna, and myself and John. Well, and the point is, um, you know, we can start an organization or something. And just the other day, uh, I noticed the IRS keeps sending me notices, even though I've never expressed any interest in them. And it's like, why are you so obsessed with me? Uh, but. Yeah. I love <laughs> cancel culture has killed comedy. Also, this is the best conservatives have to offer. Yeah, this is great. This is funny. It's just like, look, if, if the entire, if your entire goal to uh, is, is not necessarily to make people laugh, but instead to just like agree with you. 
then you're not a comedian, okay? Yeah, the right is getting better at comedy and it's making the lefties nervous. One day you wake up and you think to yourself, is there more to life than being really, really ridiculously good looking? I want to video game myself. This is, oh my God. This is the, oh my God. Like even, even she's making Zoolander references, not two, Zoolander one. Okay. Holy fuck. This shit is so stale. Uh, you know, I did it and now I'm here. Uh, AOC did it and now she's a congresswoman. And <laughs> in that capacity, you have to answer questions. It's very weird that she's just like constantly also talking about how hot she is. <laughs> like half of these jokes need to land because the premise is that She's hot and people think she's hot also. And like, I'm goofing on this because it's goofy, but to question the motives of every questioner you come across, uh, I don't think behooves you. Um, and she can answer the questions about being in Florida without going here. And by the way, I know because I'm talking about this, there are weirdos who will get weird in my comment oh, nice. section right now. Hi, how's it going? Um, you can't date me. Uh, this is the plight the real plight of actually being a woman in the public eye. And there is some of that out there, but we also have to answer fair questions and a fair question to AOC is. Yeah. Why was your husband or not husband? Why was your partner showing naked male feet? Not at the, not at the, the, uh, not near immediately in the vicinity of a body of water, like a pool or a sea. Cause that was what the fucking dude was saying. That literally was the fucking tweet, okay? Why was your boyfriend wearing sandals showing naked male feet not in the immediate vicinity of a body of water? <laughs> oh! Oh! Uh, effing. Again. Getting worse every fucking time. Don't post it. You will get yeeted. <sighs> hey, is your trip with your partner to Florida dangerous to yourself and others? Uh, and if not, why not? Uh, because if it's not, it suggests that people can use their personal freedom to make decisions about their risk profiles and go forward in the world of COVID. Um, I don't know what to say exactly. <laughs> right now um no but one thing i will say is you know there is a venn diagram here i mean right there are creepy weirdos yeah. out there you're not denying the existence of creepy weirdos just that not everyone yeah. who who asks bro this is literally a fox news segment for the record like including the commentators the cnn commentators themselves like this is just a fox news segment this is straight up just a Fox News segment. This is the kind of segment you would hear on Fox News. The legitimate question is a creepy weirdo. And I know Brianna had a question along those lines uh, about sandals, Brianna. Yes, man sandals, yay or nay, Mary Catherine? Look, I'm a no, but I'm not judging. Um, I don't think that the interesting thing is this took a turn toward the sexual after the sandals were mentioned. And AOC said, OK, that's that's the source of it. And look, I don't think man sandals have ever led to a sexual thought, except for maybe in Gladiator that one time. But that's, that's my position. Thank you for asking me. No one's ever asked me that before. There you go. <laughs> um, I'm going to turn this discussion now. I'm gonna you tr can try, John. Uh, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I want to ask about the Republican Party, because Congressman Peter Meyer, who was a yes, I believe, uh, on impeaching the former president right. of the United States, he was asked about where he thinks the current Republican Party is. There were no sandals harmed in this question. Listen to what he said. There was no alternative. There was no other path. And given how President Biden, um, when he was elected into office, you know, said he would be moderate and look for bipartisan solutions. Wait, who the fuck is this, bro? Yo, I've never gotten such hardcore school shooter vibes from a fucking congressperson. What the fuck is this, dude? I, 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 did, who is this per? I've never seen this person before. 
solutions. But then after, uh, and frankly, I, I blame the former president for this, after we lost the two Senate seats in Georgia and the Senate flipped, uh, it became uh, an exercise in trying to be an LBJ or FDR style presidency and enact transformational change in the absence of any compelling mandate from the American people to do so. So that gave the rallying signal uh, that created uh, a very steep divide. And at the end of the day, uh, there's no other option right now in the Republican Party. And I, that's a, a sad test. He's my congressperson. His family is the richest in Michigan. Nice. Um, why does he have the Paul Joseph Watson set? Like this literally just looks like, he looks like ginger Paul Joseph Watson. What's going on there? I think maybe, maybe Paul Joseph Watson is like, trademark that like i'm a school shooter aesthetic so as soon as i see anyone in a similar set also staring into the camera angrily i just assume like you know similar shit's popping off so the congressman mary Catherine says that there is no other option for most republicans he says than donald trump fair uh, I think if you look at the polling, many of them favor him, correct? But I think there's also a first place, second place option in some of those polls. And I think there are people. Yeah, Ron DeSantis, baby. Death Santis for American president, dude. That's right. Who appeal to both uh, the sort of Trump critical wing of the party and the Trump loving wing of the party, which is what you need in the end. But he's exactly right about uh, Donald Trump and uh, and his his crusade about the election, taking blame for those two Senate seats. Georgia's blue, y'all. Georgia's blue. Uh, and <laughs> there's a reason for that. And it's partly because the president told a bunch of people who supported him and would have supported Republican candidates uh, that their vote didn't matter. And if that continues to happen, uh, then you will not have wins for Republicans like you did in Virginia. You will have losses uh, for Republicans. And there's one sort of brewing right now, which is there's a primary fight on the right for the governorship in uh, Georgia, Stacey Abrams is running for the Democratic Party. And this is sort of caused by that Trump issue where Republicans could easily overtake her probably in this state for the governorship, but there's gonna be a primary to weaken their candidate. And this is sort of the cost of doing business in this way. And it's, by the way, that's the cost you should pay for doing business in this way. You, you mess with elections, you lose elections. Mary Catherine Hamm, I just wanna say thank you so much for being with us this morning. Um, I'm just going to take the pro man sandal approach. Just, you know, just for the I under. Oh God. Cancer. Dude, it's so good. So fucking good, dude. It's me.